plagiarism. What is it and why does it matter? So what is plagiarism? It is copying another person's work, including the work of another student, with or without their consent, and claiming or pretending it to be your own. Is that all? It is also paraphrasing another person's work, but not giving due acknowledgement to the original writer. Well, that sounds pretty simple, right? Yeah, but when you're writing a paper, it can seem a lot more complicated sometimes. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to identify what is and isn't plagiarism in an actual paper. You'll also have a better understanding of what it looks like to give credit to the words and ideas of others. Let's start by taking a look at why plagiarism and referencing is important in the world of education and beyond. Well, why should I care? First, did you ever notice that every syllabus for your classes here at the university, as well as the student handbook, contains this or a similar statement about plagiarism and academic dishonesty? It's your responsibility to avoid it in every class. If you don't, you're likely to face consequences ranging from a very uncomfortable discussion with your professor, to failing the assignment, to getting dismissed from the university. But it's bigger than just your university's rules. It's about respecting the value of information, taking part in the scholarly conversation, or adding your own ideas to the thoughts and discoveries of others requires you to give credit to those who came before you. It shows that you value their ideas or research, and when you contribute your own ideas, they'll value your ideas as well. But academic integrity and honesty matter even after you graduate. Sometimes in the news, you'll see stories like this particularly egregious one. A state senator in 2014 campaigning for the U.S. Senate was outed by the New York Times for plagiarizing most of his master's thesis. The Times highlighted the portions of his paper with no or incorrect attribution and posted it on their website for all the world to see. He quickly dropped out of the Senate race, and after an investigation, the U.S. Army War College even revoked his degree due to the plagiarism, even though he'd graduated seven years prior. Pretty big deal. In the next few quiz questions, we'll see what you already know about when to cite. Note that I'm going to be using the citation style called APA. Your professor might request you to use MLA style, which looks like this, or Turabian style, which looks like this, or possibly some other style. We have other tutorials and guides to help you with the specifics of whatever citation style your professor wants. But the point of when in your paper you need to include a citation is the same, no matter what citation style you use. Now, continue this tutorial to check your knowledge.